So today I would like to present a 20th century Montandon watchmaker, Mark Montandon, who was situated in Rennfelden, which is a small town on the Swiss-German border. Uh, now Mark Montandon, we know very little precise information about his life, his, the dates. Uh, however, um, the individual that we are uh, speaking of appears to be the son of Louis Marc Montandon, who was also in the watch industry as a box maker. Uh, now, Marc is mentioned in Davoin Almanacs between 1948 and 1967, and this is specifically uh, Marc Montandon Horlager or Reinfelden. So, Mark was probably born after 1903, but before 1913. His information is listed in Les Montandons of Frederick Jules Montandon, uh, which was published in 1913. Now, he has two siblings, and these siblings, by name, Bertha Yvonne, who was born in 1905, and Paul Arthur, who was born in 1908. Now, for Mark, we have no specific birth year. However, his full name is Pierre Alcide Marc Montandon, and they were of the Baroda branch. Now, the Baroda branch has a very rich history with watchmaking, Montandon watchmaking, in fact, of the genealogical branches, it constitutes the second largest group of watchmakers just under Montendon de Travers. So I would like to show an object that has come down to us that is from Mark Montendon's watch shop. Now, he appears to have been both producing uh, or fabricating uh, we're not exactly sure to what level his, wa his watches were, uh, whether they were uh, his full uh, production or some sort of collaboration, just merely the name on the watches. However, he also uh, appears to have been selling silver items and jewelry. And this item, which I would like to show you, comes in this original. This is uh, probably late 40s. It was mentioned or as a 1940s era uh, item. Now, this is the original box and we can see M. Montandon. So that is Marc Montandon, Horlagerie, Bijouterie. So he had also uh, jewelry and Reinfelden. So what we have is this small vintage silver mirror and this is a really beautiful item. Uh, this would have been on the on the jewelry side more or less of his offerings but it's really fascinating that some of his products are still around and so he was in business for nearly 20 years between 1948 and 1967 so clearly this object was towards the beginning of his career and we'll just open this Now, so it's a really wonderful little item that would have been for a lady and it has uh, some minor scratching, but overall the condition is excellent. And uh, it, this is just a wonderful little window into uh, his 
watch shop there on the uh, Swiss-German border. Now, it should be mentioned that there are other Mark Montandans. We do know of a Mark Eric Montandan that is in the Basel area. However, he appears to be ruled out as our watchmaker, uh, specifically because his main name was actually Eric. He went by Eric, and he appears to have been uh, from 1954 only finishing uh, an apprenticeship in in finissage. So uh, this is probably not our maker. Now I should say from the genealogical information how we arrived at the conclusion. Now the uh, University uh, and City Library of Neuchâtel is very uh, nice to provide uh, old newspapers and it's from the newspapers the Swiss press that we were able to um, glint this information pull this information from the sources uh, th there is very precious uh, little information about uh, modern people's ge uh, genealogy it's usually centuries back so uh, we do find several articles uh, mentioning uh, specifically an 1942 article when one of the uh, allied family members had died and this is when Louis Marc was still alive. Uh, now his uh, children are mentioned now they're not mentioned by name however uh, we see that uh, the name, the children uh, are identified as follows. We hear Madame et Monsieur Marc Montandon à Bien, which is where uh, Louis Marc was working as a horloger. Uh, leur enfant et petit enfant are petit pieds à Renfelden, Laosan et Bern. Now you'll notice there are three different locations. Well, they had three children. So one of the children was living in Renfelden. And this uh, combination is, is also found after the death of Louis Marc. He apparently died in a fire along with uh, other workers uh, where he was uh, in work. Uh, yet we do get the impression now because I read uh, Madame Veuve, Marc Montenden, Nick Kloss, à bien, ses enfants et petits-enfants à Renfelden, à Lausanne et à Bern. So once again, we have, uh, we can, we specifically know through the parents that their three children were living in these three cities. And this is, Renfelden is the uh, only connection that we have to Louis Mark, and it is not found in any other location. So the chances are most likely that our watchmaker is uh, Pierre Alcide Mark Montandon. So uh, this is just a small note for the record. And I hope you enjoyed this information about a 20th century Montandon watchmaker the only watchmaker in Rheinfelden. Thank you.